us begin. All right, this 2012 unit one. All right, biology. All right, so let's look at this. Number one, which of the following best describes the properties of water? D, beautiful. Hold on, where is my pencil? All right. Um, here, which type of glucose are these? One and two. What is one? And then two is beta. All right, remember that the hydrogen is above on the amorphic carbon, so alpha above. And then below on that one, beta below. That's how I used to remember it. All right, so you see people switching up their concepts, saying that, oh, hydroxyl is above on beta. Like, nah. Look at the hydrogen, alpha above, beta below. Two, which of the following statements is true about both isomers? Notice these questions coming back from these papers, you know, and they repeated on 2022 or 2021. They're coming from way back. Alright, so let's look at this. Phospholipids will affect the function of which of the following cell structures? Endoplasmic reticula and mitochondria? What are they asking for? What do you think this question is asking for? Scrap what they're saying at number three. What do you think they're asking for? You're just asking for membrane bone organelles, right? Our organelles are made up of membranes, right? So they're looking for that. Some type of membranes like that. The nucleus have nuclear pores, so that should be fine. Um So we're looking at B. Everybody agrees with B as the answer. Alright, let's move on. Samples of a solution containing carbohydrates are, are treated as follows. All right, so I have Benedict's reagent, no color change. What does that tell us? No reducing sugar. Then we hydrolyze it and then um, neutralize it, and then we get a brick red precipitate. What is that? And reducing and then we have amylase added to added then but in the next solution then we get a brick red precipitate that is i mean it could be either one to be very honest <laughs> it could be either one right because if you had amylase to reducing sugar and then add being the solution it's not going to change right it's going to still be brick right okay so which of the following carbohydrates are most likely present in solution based on what they're doing here Thing A. All right. A. So let's look at this. I haven't seen this question in years. Which of the following is the molecule represented above? A tripeptide. Beautiful. All right. Remember, you have the different R groups. One R group. Two R group. Three R groups. Okay. Six, which of the following terms best describes this, a structure of collagen? Triple helix, beautiful. Carbohydrates are transported in plants made in the form of? C. All right. Number eight, which of the following structures present in this cell would not be present in a bacterial cell? All right. X would be representing what? A cell tissue organ or system. Which tissue? Alright. So, um, so, as we have here, the figure best, this, oh, well, above best describes. Alright, facilitated diffusion. 11. When a plant cell is placed in a solution with a less negative, less negative, 
water potential then it sells sap right the cell becomes more what is the answer for this turgid it becomes more turgid or it becomes less it becomes flaccid which one okay i have a feeling that we always have some disparity when it comes to water potential yeah hold on right so water potential and plasmolysis so let me see if i can give a, a brief kind of thing kind of explanation for this right so we have different types of what water potential right and what do, what does water potential speak to what does water potential speak to the ability of water to move interesting So we're looking at the concentration of pure water versus the concentration of a solvent, right? Pure water would have what type of water potential? Like what value would pure water be? Just a high one, interesting. All right. You said zero. That's what you said? Okay, so it should be zero there about right the more solute we have in a solution right let's get this um right let's go for this pure pure will have phi zero right and when we have a solution the more solutes we have we end up having right we end up having phi equal to a negative potential so right the greater so the more we have solute so the more solute we have right is directly proportional to a negative water potential is that true all right so that means a solution will have a more negative water potential than pure water which is zero right so what we're seeing here we have a less negative water potential so the water potential is more positive right so it's a purer water potential right than what is in the cell right so if we have a cell and we have a purer water potential right where is the water going to move from high concentration to low concentration right so if the water outside is purer then a solution inside the cell, where is the water going to move? Into the cell. And if it moves into the cell, what is the cell going to become? Beautiful. Right? So if, hopefully, I didn't put other answers for the other papers, but I'll change them if I do. 12. Which of the following events does not involve the movement of ions across cell membranes? This repeated, right? What's the answer? A. Right, so cell recognition. Right, then we have here pepsin. Pepsin is found in the stomach, therefore it would have a low pH. Therefore, what best represents pepsin? One. Wonderful. Right, so for 34, this is, I believe. So, sorry, 14. <laughs> I can't see when it's like. Right, so based on the diagram above, which of the following best describes the rate of, react of an enzyme catalyzed reaction? So, looking at the rate of the reaction with enzyme concentration. 
the rate is directly proportional to enzyme concentration. Remember when there was a question that that had this exact diagram and people were choosing a graph that looks like this? No, no, no. That's not the graph. This is the graph. Alright. So let's look at this now. So we're looking at enzymes. This repeated in the year after this, right? So which one of these is competitive though? B. Right? One will be what? Normal, right? And then three would be non-competitive. And four will be something that is really interesting. <laughs> so so we have that there, right? So we have here the base X is Y. Which are our pyrimidines? What are our pyrimidines? So the smaller boxes would represent the pyrimidine, right? The number of bonds as well. Right, so the so the purine, right? Is purine and pyrimidine? Purine, right? Purine and pyrimidine. Alright. That's so you can tell I haven't done this in a while. Man. <laughs> so purine and pyrimidine, right? So the pyrimidines are A and T in DNA and the purines would be the G and C, right? Guanine and the cytosine, right? So based on this now, if this pyrimidine gives two bonds, right, then this pyrimidine should be what? There's only one other pyrimidine and that pyrimidine is? Cytosine. So the pyrimidines and the purines. So the pyrimidines are um, cytosine and tyrosine. And the. Oh, sorry. Thymine. Right? And then we have guanine and we have adenine. Yeah, sorry. Is uracil a pyrene, a sarapurine, or a pyrimidine? Which one? Alright, so uracil would be a pyrimidine. That's it. Right. Cytosine, moving on. So, what's happening here? Allow it to clear up. 17. Which of the following gives the correct sequence of events in the replication of DNA? So it's the bonds between the break and then we have them opposite strands separating. Then we're gonna have free nucleotide pair with common strands on nuclear each strand. Alright. Okay. Here we have a beautiful diagram which of the following character identifies the sequence of bases of mRNA strand right, produced during transcription. So which way are we looking at it? Which strand are we using? So using five prime to three prime. So what would be the base? C A A would be give us what? G U U, right? Beautiful. Alright, let's look at this. Two, 19. Which of the following statements correctly describes the differences between RNA and DNA? B as in dog or B as in boy interesting okay 20 which of the following features are evident during mitosis so we have this we don't have that we don't have that we don't have this well we do have this wait hold on no 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 hold on am I right Oh, they don't do not yeah they do not associate all right so one and and four beautiful 21 in a rat cell there are 32 chromatids present at the beginning of prophase in mitosis 
How many chromatids would be in the cell during the beginning of phase one of meiosis? Beautiful. C. Which word C? Are we sure? Are we definitely short C? Okay. Twenty. Oh, is this twenty-two? Twenty-two. Which of the following statements best explains a null hypothesis? There is no significant difference. Beautiful, right? When a cross was made between a pure breeding pea plant with green round seeds and a pure breeding plant with yellow wrinkled seeds, all of the first filial prog progeny had yellow round seeds. Which of the following ratios shows the result of a test cross of the first generation? This would be the Mendelian ratio, right? Beautiful Mendelian ratio. Here now, this is a rather large question. Restriction enzymes cut DNA molecules own at specific target sites with particular base sequences. The target sites for some restriction enzymes is shown in the table below. The code for a simple piece of DNA shown below here, right, would take what um, enzyme? Which enzyme, I mean? Which enzyme? So I see that a cut can be made here. Alright. We'll see a cut can be made there. And we see a cut can be made where else? Where else can a cut be made here, right? Wait, hold on. Yeah, we have a cut there, right? So it'll be this and this. Okay, is this repeated? Yes, it is. Seven is the last one in the sequence. Seven has to be the last one in the sequence because I can't get an auto an auto radiograph from anything else. Like some of these questions, they look really complex, but when you look at it correctly, there's one answer that always beats out the one some of the most complex questions. All right, go ahead. Number seven. The other the graph is something that is created after um, electrophoresis. Do you know electrophoresis? Okay, do we have to discuss it after this? Okay. So it is for electrophoresis, right? Or it really is used for that. So audio radiography and electrophoresis. We'll have a talk about it then. Right, so 24, 24. Did that not put an answer for 24? D. Alright, so which of the following mutation does the diagram illustrate? Deletion. Alright. For here, 27. After which of the following forms of gene mutation will a change in codons occur? What are they asking for? Ah, uh, frame shift mutation. So what would be the answer? What would be the best answer here? D may be the best answer here, right? 
even though we we're not I know that we're we're going for the three and four, you know, right? But it's a bit iffy when they do have three and four by themselves and they include substitution. Now whether or not substitution can substitute two at once, I don't know. But it will change it. Alright, or it can change it. Right? Um based on the way they're looking at it. But if it can't based on cape knowledge, then it may be an issue, like with the paper. But it's two it's three and four for frame shift, right? So going with that. Twenty-eight giraffes. What what answer is this? This repeated, right? It's directional. Then the possible benefit, improve human nutrition. Then we have geographical isolation. Alright. What's happening here? I guess this is the hibiscus one, spore formation. Isn't it a bit tiring of seeing these questions over and over again? Alright, which of the following accurately? Okay, we saw this as well. So it's going to be mitosis, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Let me let in this person to the meeting. Wait, is that Rene? Hmm. <laughs> I just saw him. Um, the following are advantages of two types of pollination, right? So we have these types, right? So what is no, even finish C, all right? So specific to cross pollination. So we have C two and three makes sense, right? And the processes occurring at stages one, two, three, and four are. So one we have meiosis, so that means that it it releases D and B from our answers. Two is growth, so it confirms A as the answer. Right? So it just confirms it. In which in some plants the andresium matures before the genesium. Such plants are described as Protondros. Beautiful. Alright? Here now. We have a beautiful diagram of the heart. Isn't it beautiful? Which of the following correctly identify the structures P, Q, R, and S? So P would be the ovary, Q would be the cervix, R would be the endometrium, and S would be the myometrium. Alright? As a biologist, you should be able to label these like a pro. Alright? In plants, the ovary is best described as the I hear A a while ago. Okay. What is A? What would A be? Beautiful. Right, so here we have which option describes the order or the correct order of development? So it would be one, hold on. Would be three, then one, then four, then two. All right? So three would be the primary follicle, right? It's taking its time, growing. Then we'll, with its primary oocyte, then we're gonna have a secondary oocyte in here growing the graphian follicle right and then we're gonna have it releasing the secondary oocyte here without its polar body is gonna be there right so it's gonna be released like that and then we're gonna have this being formed this the kit this ruptured graphian follicle becoming the corpus luteum all right so 39 which of the following statements describes the event occurring in asexual reproduction only see all right 40 what is the function of testosterone in spermatogenesis it inhibits the activity of the serotonin oh results in the growth so it's for the growth right so there's a question about um 
the growth and development of the spermatogonia and the spermatozoa, right? And the answer was testosterone. Now this just switch, switched around. Alright? So let's look at this. 41. When will ovulation occur if there is a surge in luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone on day 12 of the cycle? Joel, you're not answering the question. No, you have to like it's hours. Are you sure? Mm hmm Asking if you're sure. Mm hmm So I keep speaking from experience. You're pretty sure it's C, you know? Anybody disagrees with this answer? Happens on day 14. Hmm. So you're saying since it happens on day 14, it will happen for the after the surge. Are we sure that ovulation should happen on day 14? Within 24 hours. So it's between day 12 and day 13. Alright. So we're seeing here that on day 12, luteinizing hormone is at its peak. What does that symbolize? It symbolizes that the ovary is ready to release, to, to drop to the graphene and follicle and release the secondary oocyte in ovulation. So if LH is that high within the body, then it is a like is it a long time until ovulation occurs or is ovulation like literally here <laughs> we have to know let's look at estrogen levels estrogen levels they will decrease and progesterone will increase what would be the answer let me see the answers that you guys have please place the answers in the chat Hey. All right, so easy answer. Okay, it would be 48 hours, right? We see that LH starts to decrease, right, immediately after that, right? The thing is, no, we have to understand that ovulation doesn't generally occur like on a specific basis, no, right? Or the ovarian cycle and the uterine cycle, right? differs right from female to female right from organism to organism right so based on what we're seeing on this diagram it is day 12 in which I need to reach a max right so within 24 hours it should happen right so it's not so it, it wouldn't be the case if which LH raises on the eighth day then it will ovulation will still happen uh well on the 14th day right it's not strict to 14 it's where the graph um presents itself right 24 during the development of a fetus in the womb the wall of the uterus consists of a layer of muscle and the endometrium mm. all right so 43 follicle follicle stimulating hormone sorry fsh acts directly on the cells labeled Repeat B, D, B as in boy, D as in dog, C as in cat. Alright, so do we agree? Let me check the chat now. Okay, we're agreeing. Okay, so let me see. 44. A birth control method that is used after sex. Seawall intercourse is typically referred to as a ideas in dog. All right, so the contraceptive pill would be used before or after. All right. 
the combination pill will be used before or after. It would be before, right? Please take note. All right, so here we have 45. The structure labeled X is. What's the answer? Alright, so it can't be that. A would be what? Fluid fill sac which protects the embryo from mechanical shock. What would that be? The amnion. It says a fluid fill sac. So the amnion. Right? The site where female gametes undergo meiosis during maturation. That is what in the over, right? That would happen in the over before the secondary oocyte is released. And the structure that stores yolk for a developing fetus. Mm. <laughs> that is interesting for a mammalian um, perspective. So C would be the answer for this. And that is the end of 2012's biology paper. Alright, that is that.